afternoon, dear partners, investors, colleagues, everyone who is watching this video, everyone who is following us, including haters. Hello, everyone. We're again on the construction site. Design and Technological Bureau Sovolmash is being constructed here. A year ago, approximately, we were filming videos here and there was nothing here. There was a pit where there was concrete foundation. And now, behind me, you see a building. A year has passed. Is that long or not? Well, that depends. How was the year? It was quite, well, joyful, exciting, not boring, definitely. But the year was difficult, things are not easy. Still, all the obstacles have been overcome, and the building is being constructed. Investors invest their money, and what you see behind me is being built. And this is a confirmation that investments go here. You know, sometimes they build pyramids, they steal money, but when you steal money, you can't build such things. Still, there were some delays. We have spoken about that already, but we never had a thorough discussion. We were saying that something was wrong with the permitting system and so on. But I think that time has come to speak about that openly, the reasons for those delays. Because without that, construction looks perfect. Everyone says things are clean, things are good, but what price are we paying for that? Behind me you see panels, panels of the administrative part of the Design Technological Bureau, light grey, dark grey. These panels were the reason for delay of mounting instructions. Why was it so? Because the plant that was supplying them delivered those panels with suck marks. What are those suck marks? Well, it's not what you thought about. It is something different. You know, technology of moving panels in the plant means that they're actually captured with suction cups and somebody did not control pressure and too much tension was created and metal was like sucked in which resulted in deformation of the surface, cosmetic defects and all the rest. And it took time to solve that problem, significant time. That is why mounting those panels were suspended. But as you see, in the glass part, scaffolding will be put and frames will be set. Work continues. The problem has been solved. Then we moved on. And there are quite many problems like that. Let's move on. So, we are now in a different place, on the other side of the administrative building. And we see what we were speaking about. Mounting continues. Yesterday, two floors were covered with those panels. It is moving on, and very soon one of the walls will be finished. Now let's move a little bit and see yet another problem. Here is the second problem that we did not show to you. This is the achievement of the glorious company Alpha Stroy. It was done really greatly using cutting edge technologies. A pit was dug for communication well. And then it just collapsed. Because according to the norms and standards, two meters or more should be supported or they make slopes for that. But they did not do it correctly, and that is why work was stopped. It was stopped immediately, until things would be fixed. But still you see that, you know, it was demounted, it was heated up, and so on. We were asking them why. 
Why are you doing that? Well, for communication networks. For utility lines. Alpha Stroy Company. Well, remember them. Remember these heroes. This is how they work. And it led to stopping of work. But they want a lot of money for their utility lines. A lot of money. And now we are fighting over cost estimates. Because in cost estimates, you know, they charged us for removing the ground. Here is the ground. So there was that extra soil, because backfilling will be done with sand. They wanted a thousand rubles per one ton. I don't know such prices. Because removal is usually calculated in cube meters. And in cube meters it is 1,750 rubles per cubic meter. And they have quite a good appetite. They are telling me our price is perfect, according to the market. It is not a market, it is a real bazaar. And we have to stop such things all the time. We have capital development direction that solves such issues all the time, and they do come up all the time. In addition, this construction could have stopped many times. One of the reasons was that when we were engaged in the acceptance procedure with one of our technical suppliers, we saw a deviation of one of the columns and all the construction was stopped until the developers of this construction, Estron, had completed all engineering calculations and until it was shown that deviation did not impact the bearing capacity of the construction, but still the worst that suspension of work that's stopping. And then they tell us fairy tales about, you know, different things. And they are not fairy tales what I'm speaking to you about. It is reality. And it was also true concerning other things. It happens regularly. But the main thing is not that we have them. It is inevitable. The main thing is how they are solved. And the team managed to solve all those issues and not to allow for a situation when somebody would be crushed in that pit. There were many similar situations, much more serious ones, much more tense ones, but they were all solved. So don't think that it is, you know, like red carpets here. No, they are rather thorns, thorns and thorns once again. Nothing but thistles. And we just struggle along. And now there is a big meeting here on the construction site. All managers have come. They are solving disputes, problems which emerge. I went there very rarely, because when I do go there, I just say my last word. And then when I say that last word, very strict measures follow. Now let's speak about interesting things. Let's go up. Look, we are now in the ears of Chibrushka. And there are these holes in front of me. Why were they dug? It is drilling of ground. It is done to check the temperature. The temperature below. And measurements show that the temperature was negative. So before pouring all of it, before doing concrete foundation, we will need to heat it up. Because it will take a lot of time to melt itself and that will slow down the process of construction. Let's look at heating up, let's go. Here is another hole, another drilled hole. It is the main part of the building, measurement of temperature as well. Now look, dear colleagues, here we see the station which heats up heat conductor. The heat conductor travels in hoses covered with canvas and then it goes to that part. And there under canvas, let's go look. Here under canvas, hoses are put. We'll now try the temperature warm, they're warm. So they're heating up the ground after the ground melts in this part. They will do compacting 
after winter, backfilling, thermal insulation along the contour and concrete foundation pouring. We will now see how concrete foundation work has been done in the warehouse part. We have already shown it, I think. But now it looks very different. If we look at it from the outside, without curtains, without anything, here it is, concrete foundation. It has been completed. And temperature has also been measured here, and then they will just be connected. The main thing is that now we have the possibility to continue work in parallel. We will now approach one very interesting place. The cameraman will show it to you. This is the place for putting transformers there. 10,000 volts will be transformed in low pressure here. 0.4 kilowatt and they will feed the facility. You see the guiding mechanism and so one, two, three, four transformers, four of them. And then there is switch equipment, all the connections have been prepared and this concrete foundation allows us to continue work here in parallel. That is installation of electric networks in our facility. We have been waiting for that for a long time, for doing everything in accordance. Marshalling panels, 10 kilovolts, have already been manufactured and paid for. So transformers are on the site. Now we will go have a look at another interesting thing. Warehouse where materials are stocked. It was in the back part of the building. We were waiting for so long for it to be cleared. But, well, the building is growing. And the warehouse does not get smaller, it seems. The cameraman will show it to you. A view from here. You see how many things there are in the warehouse. A lot of partitions. A lot of panels. Metal constructions. All of that is still to be mounted in the building. And now let's go on the second floor. We are on the second floor. And you see what has been done here in the last several days. Baseboards have already been installed in the bottom part. Joints were covered with casings. Casings were put on door frames. So things look more complete here, gradually. And after baseboards are installed, pouring of the floor can be performed. Now the cameraman will show you what it looks like from the outside and I will keep silent for a moment.
have I been here together since New Year? Well, I have been here, of course, but we have not been here together. This is what a roof looks like. Well, before we used to look at snow piles here, and now we are on solid roof. The scope of work which remains is not big. It is the administrative building and partially the industrial one. And we see the scale of all of it much better from here. Things that have been done in the last year, despite problems, despite issues, whatever happened, whatever was there, is the past. I hope and I'm sure that we will have more interesting events in the future, commissioning the facility and the first products that we will produce. It is in our hands, it is in your hands and we will do what depends on us. Now, enough of talking, I think, and the cameraman will show you a little bit more things. See you soon. Goodbye.